What is she got? Yep. There she goes. Flipping. Oh, oh big overshoot on that one. Unfortunately, looked like a big impact there. And actually, seen has landed those flips in practice and qualifying. She was the first girl to do a top. So that was. <sighs> 10 weeks ago I suffered a pretty major injury during a crash in Canada um had a pretty bad burst fracture of my C7 as well as compression fractures in my T2 and T3 also fractured my hand um and yeah that was about 10 weeks ago now and a lot's happened since then. It has honestly felt like the slowest 10 weeks of my life. And I mean, it is almost almost three months, really. Three months in a neck brace is, it sucks. Now the last eight or so has been spent living with my parents, feeling pretty useless. It's definitely a big change from spending all my time away training competing to coming back and living with your parents and and not being able to do anything for yourself been hard mentally i think the biggest thing is spending the last sort of nine weeks not having any idea of how long my injury is going to be what the what the plan is what the time frame is i really don't know still exactly how long I will be like the full recovery or even when I'm going to get this neck brace off I'm hoping at the three month mark we get the neck brace off because that thing has been this thing has been rough um but I did get my cast off my hand a couple of weeks ago now so I have been able to do some rehab on that but really not much else I I can't lift anything I can't do any strength work at all basically because of you know everything that connects to the C7 and all of that is like it's just it's so important that I don't do anything which is insane. I think the first five weeks six weeks were the hardest um from what I thought from hearing from people that have done their C7 before um I had my hopes up when I went to see the the spinal uh specialist here at the five week mark I thought oh, okay he's probably gonna say sweet you're almost at the six week mark like you can start taking off the the brace you can start um start training again or at least strengthening it just just something um and when I saw him he was like I want you in it for at least three months that was that was a rough one just because I had no idea and it was again sort of same system where not a lot was explained to me and that was what was frustrating not feeling like I had control over much I think it's definitely felt a lot better in the last few weeks but I can tell how how bad it is because it's still exhausting every day just holding my head up which is a crazy thing to think but I but I can tell I know how much how much strength I have lost um you know being in a neck brace 24 7 sleeping in it doing everything in it it's obviously gonna be weak um but to still have pain and to still feel that weakness at 10 weeks is um scary to say the least and then just mentally I didn't I wasn't ready for the uncertainty that's been like the the biggest mental part that's really been hard um a lot of reframing that kind of thing the fact that um the fact that I'm missing something like rampage an event for history you know it's it's a big thing and I have to reframe that almost every day and tell myself 
that I'm supposed to be here, that this is my my path and everything happens for a reason. And that's not an easy thing to reframe. I think when people tell you to reframe your thoughts, sometimes they don't express how hard that is when you're looking at something like Rampage. Um, to reframe that and tell yourself that no, you're supposed to be here doing this recovery, healing, that this is what you're meant to be doing, that this is your opportunity. Um, yeah, that is, I'm still working on that one, but that is what I'm trying to do. And I worked with a, I'm working with a, a sports psychologist, um, who does specialize in stuff around injuries and that kind of thing. And I, one of the things I, I voiced very early was that I didn't want to get to the end of this, this injury, um, being the exact same person. I didn't want to waste however long this may be, uh, you know, three, six, whatever, how long ever it takes, three months, six months. I want to come out of that a better athlete. And even if that's not, even if I come back and I start from the beginning in terms of, you know, having to relearn tricks and, and get comfortable on a bike again, if I can be the best athlete in every other way leading up to that in terms of my mindset, um, in terms of my diet, in terms of how I do this recovery and this strength work to get myself back up to strength, if I can do all of that and then I get back onto the bike and everything comes back to me eventually, but I have all these other things underneath it, then this this time won't be wasted. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is that I don't want to feel like this this time of I have is being wasted right now so there's <clears throat> there's one particular quote that I've been oh God, that I've been using a lot throughout this recovery I've been trying to read as much as I can learn about my health learn about fitness learn everything I can about my body, about everything that I can do to maximize my recovery now and when I get back on the bike, trying to to be as active as I can, getting on the spin bike, walking, um, but it's always, you know, my neck is always the thing that it ties the quickest and it, it does every day. It's blocks of, um, of lying down because it's so exhausting just holding my head up even with the brace on it's the biggest thing is you know I've written down a piece of paper on my door that says you know prioritize what you can do focus on what you can change because there's a lot of things I can't do right now but there are a lot of things I can do so that's the biggest thing <clears throat> and they're all like little one percenters that that make the biggest difference you know like the things that I can do like they seem so small but they compound into these these great habits and I want to keep that going when I am back on the bike okay so this is a quote that I have heard before and um it kind of came up though recently sort of at the start of my recovery when I, I felt like I needed it um so I've written it down and it's my wallpaper at the moment and it's we are what we repeatedly do excellence then is not an act but a habit so right now I am prioritizing every little habit every little one percent because that's all I can do and yeah I just wanted to share that one with you guys obviously this is a long recovery and I don't know I don't know how long it is going to be at the three month mark hopefully that's when I'll know more and then we can start the process I'm hoping maybe to get to Austria do some recovery at the APC centre and then come back and hopefully start riding again and I don't know what that process is going to be like um, I'm not sure what kind of fear is going to come up you know I talk to a lot of doctors and a lot of specialists and even just you know people outside of that area that talk to me about um, spinal injuries and how lucky I was and 
and the severity of it, of my injury, of spinal injuries, and honestly being told not to come back to the sport, which is probably one of the hardest things you can hear. Um, but I want to come back and I want to be a better athlete than I was before this injury. I want this injury to make me a better athlete and I have control over that. So that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, thanks for watching the video guys and I hope you like it and I hope you get something from it. So.